Hi everyone, welcome back to Sugar Mama TV, your financial coach, counsellor and creator. So I am so excited. I am uh, just booked a trip to um, La Paris and London. I've never been to Paris and I've had a really challenging couple of months and I just woke up um, one morning going, I've got to do this. I've wanted to go to Paris for so many years. I've dreamt about it and I just thought, that's it, I'm going to book a trip to Paris. And then all of a sudden all these signs um, happened about friends being in Paris at the time I was going to go. Um, my son's just about to turn two, so his, his airfare will still be free. Um, I got a discount on my airfare, like so it was meant to be. So I'm so excited. I've booked um, my trip to Paris. I'm going to fly to London, leave some stuff there, and then jump on the Eurostar and take Rocco, my son, to Euro Disney, which is so exciting, as well as doing all the amazing things you do in Paris. So this video is all about, I guess, how I incorporate minimalism um, with traveling and minimalism with money and traveling. So first of all, to minimalism is about making life as simple and as e easy as possible. So I have paid upfront for all my airfare and accommodation <clears throat> and even my transfers. So um, they've been paid up front. Um, I put them on my credit card, but then I transferred the cash onto the card straight away. And the double benefit of doing that is I earned, free, I earned points in using my credit card. But more importantly, I activated my travel, free complimentary travel insurance through my credit card because I've booked and paid for my accommodation and my um, airfares on my credit card, which saved me about $500 in travel insurance, which is brilliant. Now, because I've paid for everything up front um, in my accommodation and airfare and transfers, all I need is spending money. So I've saved up some money and I've allocated a certain amount of money per day. And that money for per day, I'm going to keep in cash. I'll transfer it into euros and pounds at the airport. And that's going to be my money that I use every day for things like paying for coffees, entry into museums and art galleries, going to Euro Disney. Um, paying for lunches and dinners and hopefully a few glasses of wine um, and it will mean by paying in cash I'm not creating any debt um, I'm only going to buy what I value in paying for things in cash and I'm not going to have to worry about being charged um, you know ATM um, withdrawal fees or um, bank um, FPOS charges um, that tend to happen when you use your debit card when traveling overseas. So for everyday spending money, I've got a set budget, um, which I think I can comfortably use each day, and I'll be paying for everything in cash. Now, um, I've also saved up a little bit of extra money because I want to buy one amazing thing for myself in Paris. I don't know what that might be, but um, I want it to be French, um, and um, it's just going to be one thing. Um, so I've saved up that money in cash, and what I'm going to do is transfer that cash onto my card just before I go to the airport so that um, even when I do buy myself, myself one, my one splurge um, I will not have any I'm not creating any debt for myself so when I my holiday is over and Rock and I jump back on the plane for the 23 hour flight back home I'm gonna land and get off the plane uh, with no guilt um, about owing any money or having to pay for the holiday off um, I can just hit the ground running, go straight back to work and, and get on with life and, and know that I've enjoyed my holiday guilt-free. I've paid for it, I've worked hard for it, I've earned it and I can really just switch off and, and make the most of my time traveling around Europe with my son. So I'm so excited. And also I can, <coughs> sorry I've got a bit of cough for the moment, I can also um, start planning my next trip which I'm hoping is going to be, um, I want to take Rocco skiing to the States in um, January, early next year. So um, so what I recommend for everyone is try and pay for as much as your holiday upfront in cash. Um, definitely um, utilize the, the complimentary travel insurance if it's available on your card, but make sure you have actually paid for your holiday upfront so that you can enjoy your time guilt-free and enjoy every split second of the holiday because that's what life is all about and, you know enjoying the fruits of your hard work so um, uh, one last little thing is um, my wallet and minimalism obviously um, I like to travel lightly I don't like to carry around lots of things and um, I will be downsizing my miniature wallet so all the things I don't need like for example I won't need to take my Woolworths um, uh, frequent shopper card I won't need to take my private health insurance cards because obviously um, 
I'm traveling overseas, I'm not going to be checking into any hospitals, I don't think. I won't need to take my um, gym membership card. All I will really need to take in my car, uh, in my wallet with me, are my ATM cards and my credit cards for emergency. I'll even be taking out my lucky $100 money magnet um, uh, as well, because I won't need to, I don't want to travel around with that. Um, and it really just sort of, simpl again, simplifies my wallet. I'll only have my um, euros and my pounds in here. Um, money that I am going to be spending and that's pretty much it so again just keeping um, traveling as light and as easy as possible Ma again making it quick and easy to pay for things and um, and keeping life as simple as possible so that you can enjoy the most of it so that's it for this tr little tip on traveling um, with minimalism and money um, and I'll see you in my next video and if you are wondering what about this hundred dollar money magnet lucky note make sure you watch my manifesting money um, video and i'll explain all about it and how it works so ciao for now and i'll see you in my next video bye